Hi, uh, good afternoon. My name is Maher Lewis and uh, today we're going to talk about uh, uh, the, the following. Um, so don't get frustrated. It, it does work. It's very dynamic and it's very useful. So uh, I'm going to show you to you right now. You're going to find now that that block is part of the is part of the label style. So, you know, typically, obviously, we probably wouldn't be having the text come through uh, in a view like this, but that can be controlled through that point style. So that's using an, uh, an MB block as a uh, marker in your point style. If you rotate the block, the, the fire hydrant rotates as well. If you rotate the point. And the fire hydrant yeah. rotates. That's one of the questions. One well, of the questions was how do you rotate that? It's, it's simply a matter of the point rotation itself, and there's you can do that through description keys or just rotating the point itself um, through the uh, the properties of the point. So there's one on the uh, transparent command. Let me let me show a little something here. Uh, uh, I want to show uh, too bad you weren't working. We could get that I know. set up there. Yeah. Um, kind of a bummer. Or if you want to do a drawing and go on the network. Um, okay, so I want to just show one um, one example here on on the use of a transparent command. So these are these are fairly handy commands for just assisting and laying out geometry. And what we're looking at here is a is an intersection that's partially done. And let's say we want to design or, or create the profile of this curb return in here. So we want to create the profile of this curb return, which we don't have yet, but we may have modeled the corridor up until this point here and to this point here, but we don't have this curve return profile yet. So the new transparent commands in 2007 make that uh, a little bit easier. And what we can do is, so up here what I've just drawn in is just the existing ground profile. So this is that profile view right here. So what we're gonna do is use a transparent command so what I want to do is create a profile in here. So I'm going to bring up the profile create by layout command. I'm going to select the view. And I'm going to do tangent with curve. Okay. So now I'm just going to move this. I'm going to run out of real estate here a little bit. I'm going to move the toolbar down here. Right now it's prompting for a starting point for the profile. So if I go to the, let's go up here to our, to our menu, see the, so, hang on one second. I'm going to bring up the transparent command toolbar. So now we have the transparent command toolbar here. So these can be run with, within another command transparently. And in this case, what I want to do is actually interrogate the plan model for a profile to, to do my profile design. So there's a profile station and elevation from plan transparent command. So we're going to select that. So it's prompting for the view. So we're going to design in this view here. So now it's prompting for a surface. So this is where it's going to get its elevation. And in this case, we want to use this corridor surface here that's been partially designed. And you can see the contours of that. So I'm going to select that. And now you'll notice it's locked onto the, the alignment because that's what the profile view was based on. And I'm going to zoom in here and just snap to this point. Okay? And now if I get out of the command, the transparent command, to zoom back out, you'll notice We've set the first point of the profile, um, our, our curve return profile. 
So it basically derives the elevation from the corridor by selecting its plan. So now we're just going to repeat that to get the other end. Station elevation from plan. So now we're, you'll notice it's locked back onto that alignment. Okay. Zoom in right here. So this is the end of our curve return. And let's zoom back out. There it is. So now you can see here, I'm going to get out of the profile command now. Okay, so there we go. So here is the profile that we just designed for the for that curvature based on the plan features. So again, those transparent commands uh, often see on the news group, uh, you know, where are the dot .t, dot .g, dot .n type commands that were in land desktop, and those you really want to take a look at. There's a lot of commands that are that are useful in the uh, in the transparent command filters or the transparent commands. Those two toolbars there. So you want to explore those. Uh, that concludes this video. Thank you for watching.